Al-Aqsa Mosque, dozens hurt in Jerusalem clashes. At least 163 Palestinians and six Israeli police officers have been hurt in clashes in Jerusalem, Palestinian medics and Israeli police say. Most were injured at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, where Israeli police fired rubber bullets and stun grenades as Palestinians threw stones and bottles. Tensions have been rising over the potential eviction of Palestinians from land claimed by Jewish settlers. The Red Crescent has opened a field hospital to treat the wounded. The Al-Aqsa Mosque complex in Jerusalem's Old City is one of Islam's most revered locations, but its location is also the holiest site in Judaism, known as the Temple Mount. The site is a frequent flashpoint for violence, which unfolded again on Friday night after thousands had gathered there to observe the last Friday of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Israeli police said they had used force to restore order, due to the rioting of thousands of worshippers, after evening prayers. An AXA official called for calm over the mosque's loudspeakers. Police must immediately stop firing stun grenades at worshippers, and the youth must calm down and be quiet, Reuters news agency quoted them as saying. The Palestinian Red Crescent Emergency Service said 88 of the injured Palestinians were taken to hospital after they were hit with rubber-coated metal bullets. Police said some of the six officers injured needed medical treatment. The international community also appealed for de-escalation on Friday, as anger mounted over the threatened eviction of Palestinian families in East Jerusalem's Sheikh Jarrah district. A U.S. State Department spokeswoman said Washington was a deeply concerned about the heightened tensions. The UN Special Coordinator for the Middle East Peace Process, Tor Ventsland, urged all parties to respect the status quo of holy sites in Jerusalem's old city in the interest of peace and stability. The UN has said Israel should call off any evictions and employ a maximum restraint in the use of force against protesters. Israel's Supreme Court will hold a hearing on the long-running legal case on Monday. Israel has occupied East Jerusalem since the 1967 Middle East War and considers the entire city its capital, though this is not recognized by the vast majority of the international community. Palestinians claim East Jerusalem as the future capital of a hoped-for independent state. Thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV. Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment, see you in next video. Stay tuned.